Oh dear, haters, haters, hang on a second. What? What's the problem? What are you doing here in your Halloween costume? Uh, I cannot wait to sweep. Australians love to sweep. <laughs> but let me tell you, that's the only time we should be sweeping on this week at chat. <laughs> subtle. What happened? Very what happened? subtle. There is no Australian in the dressing room, but I'm hoping that they get to watch it because this should be a very intriguing piece. Two people who played spin very well. In fact, even a visitor. So let me just come right here in yeah. the center. Yeah, yeah, you, you, can, you can grab the back. Yeah. All right, thanks, CJ. And, and it suited you very well. You swept with proper control. But first Ooh. things first, your very first knock in India at 1KD was 100. Yeah. You finished the series with a double 100 at Chepok. Yeah. Those wickets had turned. What yeah. were some of the most important things that you as an Aussie just made Ooh. sure you checked those boxes when you were to play on spinning tracks? Yeah, it's a really good point, actually, because they're called box checking for a reason. Is there bounce, number one? Well, of course, on the red soil, there is bounce. You think yeah. about at Madras, also, Chuckpuck Stadium, there is bounce, so it comes into play. This wicket is really unique, and the Australians have got no excuse either because it's a one venue in India where the nets actually do replicate the middle. There is no bounce. Once there's no bounce, there's DRS in mind, and you've got two spinners that love to do one thing only, and that's hone in on these stumps. So the moment that you start playing the conventional or the reverse sweep, I didn't play the reverse sweep a lot, mm. the more conventional sweep, it means that you have to be absolutely certain it's not going to go on and hit the stumps. Now, how do you do that? you put down on the bowler's minds. Firstly, I think you've got to be able to read the length. So you're looking to come at the ball. A lot of people thought that I was the only sweeper, but Gigi, I also used to come at the ball as well. Now, once I start creating that doubt, it means that Ravi Chandra and Ashwin are starting to think, well, how can I dismiss the left-handed batsman on the outside edge of the bat? Now, what is that line? Hmm. Outside off stump. Is that hitting the stumps? More than likely not. So you're going to get a long way down. Matt Renshaw actually did one thing really well. He got right down. That's the first step that he did. Got the bat up higher to hit the ball down on it. He also got the ball in line with both his head and his front foot. And it doesn't go on to hit the stumps. And that's the key, really. First things first, just what you mentioned. Just, just, wanna, just want to add, it's the trajectory as well. Hmm. Because when Hiroz batted, he batted against Harbhajan. Harbhajan mm. was more of a guy who would... A bit more like mine, the, yeah, he would overspin the ball. So once it comes over your eye line, it's much easier. Once it's flatter, you're always in trouble. And especially when you're coming around the wicket and mm. most of the balls are hitting the stumps. And none of these mm. guys have the reach of Hiros. So you'd always want to pick what sort of a soil is it? First things first is know the conditions and then sort of decides what shots will work on this wicket and what not? Look, more than the soil, because when you start thinking about the wickets and stuff, more than the soil, you've got to have confidence in your defence. Yeah. Because mm. people like Ashwin, people like Aksar, people like Jadeja, they'll keep testing your defence. Do you have the patience to test their patience? And the only way you can test their patience is, your patience will be more when you have defence. If your defence is strong, then you will never test their patience. And you have to defend for hours when you come to India. Mm. Hours and hours, days hours and days. And and hours and hours. Hours. You've got about time. You know, that's the one element. When you look at this series even so far, and we've played on spinning conditions, the players that have actually done well have been prepared to do the hours. Rohit Sharma in the first innings. He didn't just go out there and slog. He got a buffet of boundaries early up with Pat Cummins sliding onto his pads. Hmm. But then when it got tough, he just decided to hang in there. He'd play the odd shot to try and keep doubt in the bowler's mind, but otherwise he was prepared to rotate, strike, bat and partnerships and bat the time. The other one thing that Jareja did, and he mentioned that in one of the interviews too, was I'm obviously looking at hitting the stumps every yeah. ball, yep. not turning it more, and yep. that's what Jareja does, yes. right? Yep. But he uses the angles. So if you're one of the left-handers and you know that the bowler is probably just using the angles, he's using the box, he's just you know going a little wider sometimes, mm -hmm. a little closer to stumps sometimes, what are the sort of adjustments that you would make? Well, let's start right at the crease line here. What I would firstly do is always bat off stump. Now, the reason why I would bat off stump is because I want to stay into the line of the ball. For Jadeja to hit my stumps, very hard for him to come straight in line. So if I'm coming down, which I will want to do, I'll coming down, I'm already smothering the line of the ball. I'm already getting to the distance of where he can't hit the stumps. Or even if there's a review, I'm that three metre review outside. So that's first step. You saw Virat Kohli do that a number of times as a right-hander as well. He came back in here and you could see leg stump, but he's watching the ball so closely and hitting it so late that it doesn't really matter because he's always going to get in road of those stumps. What if you get to the onside of the ball I didn't like is that now Jadu not only has a strategy of bowling at the stumps, but now he can see all three stumps as well. 
and my natural instincts weren't to necessarily go in to out. My natural instincts were always to come that side of the ball with my hands. Just your stance. I, I would do something different. Hmm. I would only try and protect my inside edge. You okay. cannot protect both the edges. The moment you start protecting both the edges, you're exposing yourself to both the sides. For example, if Jadu is coming around the wicket, what Ashwin was doing to most of the right-handers coming around the wicket, if Jadu does the same to me coming around the wicket, I definitely would stand, have my back foot on the off stump and I open myself. Mm. And I'll, mm. I'm closer to the ball with that angle. I'm closer to the angle. And then I'm only looking to play the balls which are in stumps. And then I can whip those balls through leg side. Yeah. But the moment you're here, you're actually exposing both the sides because you're away from that angle. If it straightens, it can nick you off. Mm. And if it turns, this edge as well. Mm. So the moment you're closer to that angle, that angle, my head is behind that angle, it's easier for me to whip those balls. What Virat Kohli did in the first innings, some of the balls which were pitched literally on the off stump or outside the off stump, he was able to just whip it through mid-on. So try and protect the inner side and the only way you can do it is when you're behind the line of the ball. If you're away from the line of the ball, you're, you're in trouble. The moment, it's fetching come, it all the, yeah, time. the moment it comes in, you're exposing the inside edge and the moment it straightens, you're exposing the outside edge. At least, at least, try and protect one side and the only way you can do it is by being closer to the ball and closer and your head behind the line of the ball. That's that just... is exactly what Australians didn't do. I saw Steve Smith when Ashwin came around the wicket in the first inning. He was literally on leg stump mm. and Labushane was, uh, Labushane was on middle stump. Mm, mm. So he got beaten on the inside edge. Steve Smith got beaten on the outside edge. Get closer to that, that angle. Mm, mm. That's an incredible masterclass coming from someone <laughs> who's been such a good player of spin, knows these wickets and someone who averages more than 50 in the country.